Hello there folks, uh, it's me now for another Monte Grappa pen product review. This one was actually uh, a little bit of a surprise. Uh, HBO had intended to send us something and then there was a problem in the warehouse and they couldn't and then after we had bought our two fountain pens, the Targaryen fountain pen isn't here yet by the way so we can't show that one, uh, this arrived. They actually managed to find some pens and uh, sent us uh, something that we hadn't expected. So as you can see, this is another Montegrappa box, same style box, but um, instead of a fountain pen, this is actually for a ballpoint pen, the Targaryen ballpoint pen actually. So um, given that Linda's the one who does all the calligraphy and things, I, I think it, it'd be easy, it, you know, it makes more sense for her to do the fountain pens. And I might as well just do a, a ballpoint pen review um, just to show people what it looks like it's very similar in design obviously to the fountain of pens uh, with a couple of key differences beyond the fact that it's a ballpoint pen for example it doesn't have a removable cap uh, the cap sort of a cap style thing is integral to it so uh, but you'll be able to see it in a moment uh, the packaging is really uh, exactly the same you know you've got this beautiful um, the beautiful inner box of this beautiful sort of harlequin pattern of uh, the various sigils, including um, Stannis's uh, stag and the fiery heart and, and the uh, Tyrrell, as well as the Greyjoy. So maybe they did it just because they liked the way they looked, or perhaps this is a hint that if, they're, if they like how the pens do, Montegrappa will produce a few more. Based on those designs, I think the Tyrrell pen really would be quite lovely with the green and gold. Um, opens up with a beautiful sort of kind of velvet suede thing going on. And it has the pen packaged as so. Um, I, I could have done without the plastic. I admit it takes, I feel it takes a little bit away from the the uh, presentation, but I, you know, it's a practical thing to have. And uh, just like the other Targaryen pen, it has a lovely, it, so the, the body is constructed not of celluloid in particular, this is actually um, resin that has been lacquered with this pattern. And as you can see, it is in bronze with the bronze Monte Grappa ring here, the sort of dragon style um, clip. And the finial, which is the end bit. Uh, now, someone pointed this out, and this is a quite quite smart. Um, the finial looks a lot like a seal, but in theory, doesn't speculate. You could, if you wanted, use this as a little mini wax seal. So you have to, you write a letter, you get some sealing wax, you close it up, and you. Uh, I was considering trying to test this out. But um, honestly, for a pen that's a couple hundred dollars, I feel like it's um, too much of a chance that something goes wrong. I'm not concerned about the resin or the lacquer. What I am concerned about is wax sticking. This is the, the danger of um, sealing waxes. If you don't know what you're doing, uh, you have you know you can breathe on it to kind of create a moisture barrier to prevent it. But it's just it's just too much of a risk, I think. Um, but if, if someone wants to try it, I, I think the one thing that makes me think that maybe it won't work so well is it's a very, um, it's not deeply incised, so it's entirely possible it won't work. But, um, and then it has a very satisfying click here. Um, quite, I don't know if you can pick it up, but it, it's quite a nice sound. And uh, I haven't ridden with it yet, so I'm, I'm gonna just do a quick... So this, this board here, this table is a little uh, rough coarse wood, so I can see that it's picking it up, but after some initial writing, it's not bad. In fact, what I'll do is I'll try and give a closer look uh, over the shoulder and uh, discuss this pen just a little bit more. This is a first time trying to try this uh, method of having the pen, the, the camera overhead. I've never done it before. It's a little awkward, I admit. Uh, we've never thought we would do something like this. Um, and so we don't have a lateral arm that makes it easier. So I'm kind of I'm kind of tucked under a tripod at the moment. But um, as you can see, here's the pen um, with Game of Thrones etched into the bronze ring here. Um, 
You got three types of uh, metals used in, in this series of pens. There is also a uh, 18 karat gold plating, obviously. Actually, this is technically bronze plating as well. And for V Stark, which we didn't mention, uh, Linda didn't mention her review, uh, that's a palladium um, plating. So, um, as I mentioned, that the table's a bit coarse, so I can see that it's, you can see when I run against the grain, you can see little skips. But, um, and I do not have anything like a decent handwriting. I had, uh, my first uh, failed grade in school was in, I think, fourth grade for my handwriting. So, um, fortunately, I, I don't need to practice writing all that much. I have computers for that these days. Um, but it writes nicely. I, I have to say, um, uh, the ink that comes with it is fine. I, I, I had hoped for something that was more obviously um, higher end. Um, Uh, it, it, it's fine, I think. It's, uh, I'm not really an expert on what you would expect from a ballpoint pen. It's not as smooth as some pens I've handled in the past, I admit, but it, it could really be just a countertop here. It's just not doing it justice. I mean, when I write like this or when I draw lines, it seems very nice. Um, it's yeah, it, it's really just the, I probably should have gotten something under this. But in any case, it's, it's a lovely pen and it, you know, it's a collection piece. It's not necessarily, it's not going to be your, um, your daily writer, as they say, but it's very handsome. I, I love the dragon design that they've done with this one. I actually prefer the dragon to what they did with the wolf. The wolf is great, but there's something about the scales and horns that give them a lot of, uh, extra possibilities here. Um, uh, a detail that was noted as well is the turn of the pen is such that it always lines up. So with the, with the lacquered uh, design. So it, it has that just, just a little extra bit of, of, you know, class and paying attention to the way the details run. Um, definitely think this is worth it for someone who uh, is a collector, who's a fan. And I think someone who has a, an extensive pen collection could see a reason to, to add this and the others in the series as part of her collection. I think a really dedicated fan would want this. Again, I, th these, are, these are collections. These are pieces to collect, to have, um, you know, with, these, with the lovely box and things as a little, you know, showing off your fandom. And... Um, I think it's it's just uh, a beautiful piece of work, as it's running in the packaging and the presentation. Um, and I, I would definitely recommend it if you are the kind of person who can see yourself spending a couple hundred dollars on a pen. This is not for everyone, um, but you know, some people collect figures, some people collect uh, apparel, other people collect jewelry, and there's a place for um, sort of luxury pens made by a brand as well established, as well, as well known as Montegrappa. Um, definitely happy to have this uh, as one of the things we've gotten along the way from Game of Thrones. And I think, um, yeah, can really recommend it if you're the kind of person who'll buy these things. I mean, this is, it is, it is a high uh, price point. It is not, um, they could probably have gotten uh, much cheaper pens made. But then you would know that they are cheaper pens. These, I mean, the weight of this, this uh, I mean, it's ridiculous. It's very solid. Um, you can tell that it is uh, high quality materials and, and with a lot of attention to detail. So uh, that is the Monte Grappa Daguerrean ballpoint pen. Uh, besides that one, there's a rollerball version, uh, which I suspect would be a very nice smooth writer, but we, we don't have that one. Um, and as Linda mentioned, there is even a limited edition iron thrown pen in sterling silver and in literally solid 18 karat gold. That one's ex very expensive. Um, that one is definitely for people who are um, collectors of extreme luxury and have a lot of wealth. But this is much more reach of, of a typical fan, I think, especially one who, who, who would like to own something just a bit unique, a bit different, that shows their love of a series that is uh, a nice conversation piece.